Welcome back to another Levity Books Review. My name is Liam, and I hope you've been reading well. Today we're talking about Citizen, an American Lyric by Claudia Rankine. It's a work of poetry released in 2014. What made me want to read Claudia Rankine was that Claudia was the dedication for a work of poetry I really enjoyed and previously reviewed on this channel called Bow Down by Karen Green. Claudia also featured in the poem Bow Down, so I just figured I had to work out who this person was. They sounded so interesting. And so I googled Claudia Rankine and found she had loads of work, and Citizen and American Lyric is one of her most acclaimed works to date, so the fact I found it for free and it was such a nice coincidence that you can find an author in one work and then find Oh, the internet is allowing you to read her work for free. It's such a luxury to be able to bounce between works like that. Citizen is a book that clearly communicates to a lay audience how everyday racism occurs in America to just everyday people. So this book physically shows what it means when people talk about systemic racism or how racism is kind of embedded in culture. I'm going to read a few examples just so you can see what I mean. Because of your elite status from a year's worth of travel, you have already settled into your window seat on United Airlines when the girl and her mother arrive at your row. The girl, looking over at you, tells her mother, These are our seats, but this is not what I expected. The mother's response is barely audible. I see, she says. I'll sit in the middle. At the end of a brief phone conversation, you tell the manager you are speaking with that you will come by his office to sign the form. When you arrive and announce yourself, he blurts out, I didn't know you were black. Aloud, you say. What? He says. You didn't mean to say that aloud. Your transaction goes swiftly after that. And when the woman with the multiple degrees says, I didn't know a black woman could get cancer, instinctively, you take two steps back, though all urgency leaves the possibility of any kind of relationship, as you realise nowhere is where you will get from here. So my main praise for Citizen is that while these events are racism against the author's black ethnicity, they are narrated in a way that they could be for anyone. Even being half Indian, I can relate to some of the events here. For example, the one where the manager says, I didn't expect you to be black. I've had the same thing with my name being Liam and me also not being a Caucasian man. And so Citizen brings this level of empathy to the debate, which encourages everyone to get involved in doing better. Understanding how to be involved in anti-racism or to tackle racism can be confusing to some people because of a lot of the new terms that are being introduced. I recommend Citizen for younger readers, especially American readers, especially readers who feel like they've experienced racism because I think there's a lot of consolation here for people who have had events happen to them. The racism depicted in this book isn't violent and physically aggressive, so it's not triggering, which makes it quite accessible for a lot of people. This book documents the little annoyances that happen all the time to black people in America, and Claudia Rankine just puts it across so clearly. And also with this maturity, this sense of balance, and I mean, there's even some humorous moments there, there's wit, it's just done delivered in such a great way. I think it even gives advice through its style in how to tackle and how to cope with racism. I can see myself reading more Claudia Rankine's work because when she has an idea, she expresses it very clearly. And if anti-racism is a cause you're particularly passionate about, I highly recommend you add this to your list because it gets to the heart of the matter in as few words as possible. Happy reading.